I think this is great that we're celebrating 50 years of the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference. Started off with our Apollo missions. It brings together so many of the different aspects of planetary science. To keep advancing our exploration of the solar system. We had quite a year here in the Planetary Science Division at NASA. We're trying to peer underneath the clouds of Jupiter. With insight on Mars. So the OSIRIS-REx mission. New Horizons. And we just keep pushing the limits. For the past year, Juno has been trying to understand the interior of Jupiter. There's been a lot of interesting results. The core is not the way that we originally thought it was. It's in fact slightly more diffuse. People around the world have responded to the pictures that have been returned from the Juno cam. They're pieces of scientific art. It's real images, real data, but there's also been the opportunity for some of the citizen scientists to participate in the production. So in the coming years, we'll have a fantastic data set about the interior structure of the planet, and we'll have a much better picture of how planets are formed, how their interiors are set up broadly across the universe. As the agency turns towards going back to the moon, a lot of that starts with science. Where we put together this CLIPS program, the Commercial Lunar Payload Services. These commercial companies are going to take our payloads to the moon for us. It's been a really long time since we've been to the surface of the moon, and this is an opportunity for us to go not just once or twice, but repeatedly, and be able to do some amazing science. We have this great opportunity of exploring Mars with multiple spacecraft on the surface and in orbit. Some of the highlights over this past year, InSight landing, all the instruments have been deployed. We'll be getting all the information that we need to build a baseline to understand whether or not Mars has Mars quakes. Curiosity has now arrived at the clay bearing unit, one that we've seen from orbit that tells us that water was there, just recently, we declared that the Opportunity mission is over, but we can celebrate what a fantastic mission that has been and telling us so much about the planet Mars. The New Horizons team has just received the closest approach data from Ultima Tholi, and it is truly breathtaking. Ultima Tholi turned out to be an extraordinary object which surprised us. The wealth of data will continue to enrich our knowledge base for generations to come. The OSIRIS-REx mission has been on its way to a near-Earth asteroid called Bennu. That's the smallest body we've ever orbited and the closest orbit to a body that's ever been achieved by a spacecraft. This type of asteroid may have delivered the building blocks of life to Earth after the Earth cooled. We already learned an awful lot. It's a lot more rugged than we expected, which is going to make our job a little bit more interesting, you could say, a little harder to find a safe place to go get a sample. We're looking forward to so many things that we're going to be achieving over the next few years. I really do think we're in the golden age of exploration of our solar system. 